Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to take a look at uh, React Query, or I guess now they call it the TanStack Query because it's not just um, for React. You can use it in uh, all these different um, things like Solid and Vue and Svelte. So it's uh, more than just React now, but we're going to be using it in React for this example. So this is sort of the best way I have found to fetch data uh, in React. Um, so I thought I'd show you how it all works right here. Um, this is version four, so there's been some updates and some neat new stuff. So I'd suggest uh, checking out this site here and the docs and whatnot. So if we get in here uh, and we can see all the different stuff, you can go over to the installation on the right and this is just how you'll um, add it to a project. Now you can do it with the CDN if you want as well. So all that is great, but uh, let's see how it actually looks within an application. So this is just a plain React app here. Um, it's using TypeScript, uh, but that is not really important for this uh, demo here. So we're in our main uh, app.tsx right here, and you can see um, we are bringing it in up here. Now let's actually show you what uh, we built right here. It's just a very simple project, uh, kind of a fake Reddit clone sort of. It's pulling data from Reddit. Now Reddit's cool because you can because you can just tack on .json to any route and you'll actually get a JSON response, which is kind of neat. So this is kind of homepage of Reddit. It's got the subreddit up here and then the actual article here. Here you can just search and stuff, but that's actually not important for this at all. Uh, we just want to see how we're fetching this data and you can go uh, and you get this little loading state and then the actual uh, individual post itself right there. All right, so that's good just to show you what that would look like. Um, now back here in our app.tsx, in order to get started, we got to bring in a couple things. So you're going to bring in, let's give ourselves a little more room right here. You're going to bring in the query client here and the client provider. And then down here, uh, we're going to create a new client like this. And then we want to wrap whatever components we want to be able to query from in this. So right now I'm just wrapping my entire application, but say you only wanted to uh, query in certain routes, you could move this down the stack uh, and only uh, query from a certain component. So that is good. We've got two routes here, just a home and then the individual route right there. So let's uh, check out a little more of this. We can come over to our home right here. Um, and this is what I'm talking about with the .json. Uh, tacked on to the end of a reddit we'll we'll uh, pass back the json so this is our home route and we're fetching data here so how this works is we're going to bring in this use query and you can see we're using that down here um, so we're going to create a function called fetch home data which we're going to pass in as a second argument here to um, this use query right now and all we're doing here is we're going to use just the fetch api and then fetch from this uh, url right here and then we're going to pass um, or return rather the response uh, as JSON. So that is what we're going to do uh, in order to fetch the data. And then we're going to label it posts right here. And the cool thing about use query here and why I think it's somewhat superior to other methods, it's going to give you these three things right here. So you're going to get data, you're going to get error, and you're going to get is loading. So this is nice because uh, you can show some sort of error state here if there's an error. So right now I'm just passing this div. Uh, and we'll show this request failed right there if something failed. And then you also get this is loading. So this is very nice because uh, you can throw a little loading spinner or something if the data is taking a little while to fetch and you can handle this. Um, there's all sorts of customizations you can do uh, during a loading state or if you wanna show the loader or anything like that. This is just the very basic example right now, but that is very nice. And then in order to actual show, show the data here, right now we're just passing it down as props so so we're passing the individual posts down as props uh, to this feed component which is here and then we're just displaying uh, all this stuff right here which isn't really overly important for fetching the data um, so that's good and then uh, and then the single post over here again we're just fetching uh, from reddit.com as our base URL and then we're passing in the ID of the post we want to fetch. And again, using that same fetch post data. So you can just create a function or however you want to fetch the data. You can do this in line right here too as well. And then you get back these uh, three objects right here. So that is very nice. And it's the same thing. So just wanted to show you that. Uh, I find it's a very nice way if you're just using a plain React, not Next.js or anything like that. Uh, it's a great way to fetch data. Um, and yeah, hopefully that was helpful. See you in the next one.